Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They range from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic the geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. All right, my name is Joel Kahn. I'm the CEO of InfoMedia Inc. in Loveland. And over the past year and a half, I and my team have made a bit of a stink with an iPhone app. And so I'm going to share with you how I farted and came out smelling like a rose. And yes, there's an Ignite presentation for that. So, I'm a, you know, I'm a geek. I'm a lot like you guys. You know, I, I like games. I've always liked technology. I like computers. I love rock and roll. Check out that guitar player. I'm the creator of Yahoo Games, and I am an uber buff level 80 warrior for the Alliance. Hey, I've always been an Apple fan. I've always been a PC fan. In fact, this is the only time in my life that you could say I've gone both ways. And when I heard that Apple was releasing the iPhone, I said, I am going to kiss my Trio 650 goodbye. And when I heard that they were going to release the software development kit, oh, 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 oh. Time to get busy creating applications. And our first app was called iVote. You can actually download that for free in the App Store. And we've had 20 million votes cast with iVote. But we knew there had to be something more. And so you got to realize, we got a lot of developers at our company, and it's a lot like a junior high locker room. And we pulled into the R&D department, a lot like that. And we, we, there was rumblings. There was strange rumblings. We knew it was coming. And out of that was birth, iFart Mobile. And this, friends, was the, the fart app that changed the world. This was the fart heard around the world. You could sneak attack your friends with it. You could play any number of farts. You could fart a friend. You could have fart buddies. But all was not perfect in paradise because the very day we were going to submit that app, this story broke on CNET that there was another fart app that just got rejected by Apple. Somebody else thought of this idea? Say it isn't so. So we did what we had to do. We sat on it. I didn't want to face the wrath of Steve Jobs and get rejected as well, but a couple months later I decided, you know what? We either got to submit or get off the pot. <laughs> and that's what we did. And I'm standing before a thousand people getting ready to go on stage and I get the phone call from the home office, I far got approved on December 12th. That's a way to run you up on stage. So being a true marketer, I began thinking, how can I get publicity to this thing? So I thought, you know what? Nobody knows the sales to rank numbers. Nobody knows at this point what it means if you sell X amount. So I blogged about it. And it became a story. And before you know it, iFart exploded up the charts all the way to number one. Twelve days later, it was a true iFart explosion sensation. And so... <laughs> We made a story of that, and before you know it, all the big online uh, blogosphere and the, the uh, TechCrunch and Mashable and Gizmodo and Fox and CBS and MSNBC, everybody is talking about iFart, and it truly became a pop culture sensation. Yes. So much so that the New York Times called me and did a Sunday Magazine article. Now, friends, you know you have arrived when the New York Times does an article on you and calls it Dumb and Dumber 2.0. <laughs> Thank you very much. But then things got nasty. Bum, bum, bum. The makers of Pull My Finger, the app that was the first one rejected, decided that we should not have used the phrase pull my finger in our marketing. They say that's the reason we were so successful. Well, I'll tell you what, it wasn't all bad because we got a call from Jon Stewart's Daily Show <laughs> and they wanted to cover the whole legal stink. They actually came out to our office in Loveland. There's my buddy Wyatt Sinak and uh, we're like this. And uh, we did end up resolving the deal with the pull my finger people. But the truth is, there's no such thing as bad publicity. I mean, Kathy Lee Gifford using it on the Today Show. Lance Armstrong tweeting how he's pranking Robin Williams with iFart. Bill Maher saying, if your phone farts, you're part of the problem. The good news, <laughs> we did settle. We made an app with the Pull My Finger people called Clear the Air. And as a result, there are now over 200 fart apps in the app store. Some people leave a mark in history. We made a skid mark. 
But hey, you know, look, we do good stuff too. We make some very sophisticated apps because we got real talented programmers. GameDoc, for example, is a global multiplayer platform that anybody can play against their friends anywhere in the world. And I get asked this question all the time, is your mother proud of you? The truth of the matter is, yes, she's very proud of me. I and my team are very proud of iFart. We've sold almost 700,000 copies of the application to date. So thank you for putting up with me. I am at, at Joel Com, joelcom.com, and uh, thank you.